What up guys, my name's Dart and welcome to my Clan Wars series. And in this video I'm going to teach you how to do the EQ Goho and EQ Go Lava 3 star Clan War attacks. Now these attacks are currently taking the top War Clan circuit by storm, basically because they're so simple. If your offense is high enough, literally anyone can 3 star a max Town Hall 9 with very little effort. So um, let's jump in. Now before I show you a replay, I should say this attack isn't actually that new. I uploaded a, a replay about, about a month ago now called How to Use Earthquake Spells, which was basically the same attack, but it didn't get much traction at the time. However, since then, a lot more people are now using it, so I thought it was time I, uh, I give it another shot. So first off, we're going to watch an attack I did in our last war. This, uh, this is actually against the General, and for any Clash with Dark veterans, you'll know that I have some history with this base, so it's actually quite funny that I ended up attacking it this war. So um, you can see from the army, we've got four Earthquake Spells. So they go down first to open up the base. Now because this is the Go Lava version, the goal here is to kill the enemy Archer Queen, the enemy CC, and take out two air defences. So we get a quick and economical funnel, and then our wizards go in behind our golems with the two royals in situ. So down goes the heal spell to keep the kill squad alive, and a poison spell to take out the enemy CC, and then a rage spell so that we get through the uh, the center of the base very very quick. So down goes that second air defense and immediately in goes the uh, the hounds. So we split the balloons up, two on each defense. And you'll notice I'm attacking directly into a sweeper here but it doesn't really matter because I've separated the balloons out the sweeper is going to get surrounded one way or the other. So one hound goes down but I've still got two left and the kill squad is um, is rampaging through the base. We've still got a, a golem at full health, and we get right into the center, and there's just that expo in there, and that's gone. Then there's one cannon up the top, which the queen's fighting. She's going to go down, but there's a huge amount of overkill on this base. And the thing about go lava, the, uh, the issue with it, is it usually takes t quite a long time to unfurl. If people fail go lavas, it's generally because they run out of time. And um, this attack took less than two minutes to do. So as I say, very, very simple. Anyone can do it. So, now I've shown you the thing. Let's have a look at how you can do them. So the next attack I'm going to show you was my second attack in this war. And it was actually against the Max Town Hall 9 base on the enemy war map. Here we go. There. So let's have a look at the base first off. Now, the initial thing you need to do when you're trying to decide whether you want to do the EQ Go Lava or the EQ Go Ho is trying to work out where the double jump bombs are and where the air defences are, and if you can get two of either with the Queen. So here, if we have a look at the base, we have um, two spots, really, to, to get at the Queen, because you need to get into the court. She's right there. So you can either drop an Earthquake spell here, and that's going to open up this much of the base, which it's okay, or you can drop one here and that's going to open up this much of the base. So in there we get the queen and the two air defences. So the two air defences are vital, because we're taking two golems you have to kill two air defences, because remember the golden rule with go lava is you always need one more hound than the base has air defences when you do your attack. So here we're going to have three hounds because the base is only going to have two air defences. So um, we do our funnel. The funnel is important. You have to be economical with it. So if you watch, I'm going to drop in one wizard here and one wizard here. They're going to wipe out these army camps and then everything is going to funnel back into the center and we're going to go in up here. So let's have a look. So down go the earthquake spells. And then the two golems. And there go the wizards for the funnel. A lot of times you see people use sort of 10, 12 wizards to try and get a funnel, which is crazy. In this kind of attack, you just don't have that that amount of um, of army space to, to to mess around with the funnel. You have to be uh, you have to be more precise than that. So in goes the heal spell. That's obviously for the, the golems and the heroes and the wizards in the core. Then the rage to get them going. Now they're going to start to take down the air defences, the poison for the enemy kill squad, and now the air defences are down, in come the hounds. 
So you do a rotational deployment, remember. So here we're going to go clockwise, starting over at 3 o'clock and then coming down to 6 and then moving around to 9 o'clock. Meanwhile, the queen has actually moved all the way over and she's going to take out that other air defense over there on her own. So over this side, while well, these guys are fighting with the one air defense, she's got down the other one, um, like a little trooper. And what that means is we end up with two unpopped hounds on this maxed out Town Hall 9 base, uh, which is kind of crazy, really. You absolutely don't see that um, on regular go lava attacks. So I had four loons left over, which I was planning on using when they got over here to this air defense, but because the air defense was already gone, I just ended up dropping them in on their own. And um, I'm not going to make you sit through the cleanup. But yeah, because those uh, those two hounds didn't pop, we um, <laughs> we didn't have a lot of pups left over. But still, it was always going to be three stars, and um, that's how dominant this attack can be. Now, I said I was going to show you the hog version, so um, so let's have a look at one of those. That is equally as simple and just as fun. Infra did a um, did a really good hog attack. Now, th the time when you use the hogs as opposed to the go lava is basically it's dependent on where the double giant bombs are. So on this particular base, they could be in here, but that's almost certainly a Tesla moat. There could be one down here, or maybe one or two up there. Unlikely though, the most likely spots are here. So what he realizes is if he opens up this spot. He ends up getting access to that much of the base with his kill squad, which is huge. So that's the way he goes, and then he um, he does a hog attack at the end. And as you can see from his army composition, his heroes aren't actually that high. They're certainly not maxed. So um, so contrary to, to what some people out there are saying, you don't have to have maxed heroes to do this. Probably 15 or more um, are, are what I'd say. And certainly um, you should be hitting bases which are, are similar to your own. Once you get your heroes to, to about level 20, then you can start taking out any kind of Town Hall 9. But, but when they're sort of in the 15 kind of a range, make sure that you're hitting bases which are, also have 15 sort of heroes. So there, the, the funnel again was a really, really good funnel. He, um, he had almost all of his wizards end up inside. He takes out the enemy ECC. Golems go in aggravate the enemy queen she comes out down goes the heel and there go the double jump bombs so as soon as those bombs go in go all of the hogs and look at that a beautiful little wave and he doesn't need to worry about heels because he doesn't have any heels so that takes that concern out of the uh, out of the equation both of his heroes are still up and you'd think right now his hogs are getting decimated by all these defences, but they're not. Look at them. Look how many he's got left. It's what, 12 left? 10, 12 hogs? Huge, huge clean-up crew. Brilliant attack. Both heroes are still up. Still got wizards. Easy. Easy peasy. Two minute three star. Great stuff. Right, so there's one more kind of attack that I want to show you within this video, uh, and that was done by Sarge. And that's really just to show you the power of this kind of attack. So um, if your analysis is very good, then sometimes you don't even just get two air defenses. Sometimes you get three. So he realizes that if he opens up that section right there, he's going to be able to access all three of these air defenses. And that's exactly what he does. So um, he takes a little while while he's thinking about this to get started. So let's just speed through this a little bit. Again, the funnel's really important. He uses four wizards here. So in go the two golems. Four wizards to create the funnel. You cannot have your heroes go shopping. If your queen or your king wanders off, then it's attack over, basically. So in goes the Earthquake Spells, and that is a yellow brick road to air defences. Out come the enemy CC, and he poisons them. You'll see he's packed in a couple of witches, which, um, which are going to distract the defences. That's the purpose of the skeletons. Because he has all that space, because he's only got the one, um, the one hound, he takes the witches instead, which is a good shout. I'd probably have still taken two hounds, because as I say... Um, 
it's the one more hound than the base has their defenses thing, but he goes with um, with more balloons instead. It's not a bad choice. I think he's a touch early on this hound, though, because the air defense isn't actually down yet. If he'd waited another five seconds, there it goes. But his hound ends up picking up so many bombs that it dies almost as soon as it gets to the air defense. But even so, I mean, I'm sort of nitpicking, because, uh, well, look at how much he's got left. So the base is getting overwhelmed by balloons. There's one poor Tesla left and 12, 12, 13 balloons left. And that's it. Brilliant attack, really, really good. So, as I say, if you um, if you want a three-star high-level Town Hall 9 basis in the easiest way possible, then watch this video. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. If you liked it, do give it a thumbs up and definitely share these attacks with your clan mates because they're going to win you guys some wars. And until the next time, guys, happy clashing.